Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's ICU. And today, Apple has seeded the third beta of iOS 10.2.1 to register developers after taking the last two weeks off for the holidays. Now, there's also something very exciting in the world of jailbreaking, specifically related to an upcoming iOS 10.2 jailbreak. I'm going to talk about that after we discuss iOS 10.2.1 beta 3, so just be sure to stick around. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to once again mention why things have been disabled in today's video, just like they were in the last video that I posted here on the channel. That's probably going to be an ongoing trend again for info as to why. Just be sure to stick around. With that said, let's go ahead and launch up Safari. We're going to navigate over to Apple's developer portal, which remember is exclusive to registered developers. And you will notice here that we do have iOS 10.2.1 beta 3 seated on today's date. The date just states January 9th, 2017, or again today with a build number of 14D23. And this build number, like all build numbers for iOS 10.2.1, beta is very reminiscent of a public build number, which means that this thing is likely nearing its end of beta releases, even though the first beta also had a build number very similar to that of a public release. Now, as I've discussed in my past iOS 10.2.1 beta update videos, it was likely that 10.2.1 was probably intended to be the real version of iOS 10.2, but Apple had to meet deadlines, so they kind of had to rush things, and now we have 10.2.1. As for its changes, there are no outward facing changes, which kind of just buoys that theory and again lends to the fact that this is purely bug fixes and addresses things that were actually introduced. And by things, I mean complications with the release of iOS 10.2 because it was such a big release. It brought so many new things to the table, including brand new emojis, iMessage effects, and much more. Some individuals have actually reported better battery life on iOS 10.2.1. However, after personally testing, testing it, I cannot corroborate that because again, battery life from one to the other is pretty consistent, at least for me. So 10.2.1 doesn't really offer anything new, doesn't bring anything new to the table, but it is a pretty big update. If you're going from iOS 10.2 or lower up to 10.2.1, it is roughly two gigs, which is absolutely massive. However, just from the second beta to the third beta, as I'm about to show you guys by going inside of settings, general software update on this iPhone 6 that actually has a developer beta profile installed, you'll notice it's only a 62.8 megabyte update, which does indicate that we only have minor fixes from beta two to beta three, and that it doesn't offer any real new features. And again, we don't have any new outward facing changes in iOS 10.2.1, at least right now that may change, but it's not looking likely at this point. So 10.2.1, just expect things to be smoother when it finally does drop. Who knows though, Apple could pull a fast one or surprise us and throw something into the mix before it eventually does go live, which very well could be next week. It's likely that after taking the past two weeks off of testing, Apple wanted to kind of push out one of the final versions of iOS 10.2.1 beta, get it through testing phases, and then kind of release it. We'll see what happens. We could expect a release next week. I'll keep you guys updated as usual. Just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And now with that said, let's go ahead and talk about jailbreaking because this is some pretty awesome some stuff. Now, for those of you who have not kept up with the Yalu situation and what Luca Tedesco is actually working on in your cards right now, there will be a link to this special playlist. I highly recommend watching through most of it. All of the information is useful, just detailing the updates and the development process of this new iOS 10 jailbreak. And down below in the description, there's also a straight link to this playlist, as well as to the last iOS 10.2.1 beta video. I think you guys will definitely find it useful if you're concerned at all about iOS 10.2.1, and again, some various things concerning the beta firmware. But as for the iOS 10 jailbreak, quick recap, it's exclusive to iOS 10.1.1. Right now, it is in beta stages. You guys as end users are not recommended to actually jailbreak because it is highly unstable, there are still bugs in it, and it could actually result in the forced restore of your device, which the latest public firmware right now is iOS 10.2, and will result in you being stuck on iOS 10.2. But is that such a bad thing? Because there's actually a rather interesting development. We could get a jailbreak for iOS 10.2, 
from Yalu. Now, previously, Luca Tedesco said that there is definitely not going to be an iOS 10.2 jailbreak. However, some of his work specifically attacking KPP, which actually occurs after the initial chain of exploits, still functions on iOS 10.2, meaning it's still exploitable in that manner. Now, he initially said that he was definitely not going to release something for iOS 10.2. However, in light of the rather substantial bug that was actually uncovered and tweeted about by him that I mentioned in the last video, he says, quote, my fix for the issues in the 10.1 jailbreak will be to add support to 10.2. It will, however, not work on iPhone 7 on 10.2, just 10 and 10.1. So that's something very important to keep in mind. However, I do not recommend that you guys just update to iOS 10.2 right now because it is still the latest public firmware. In hopes of being able to utilize this, your best bet is still iOS 10.1.1 or earlier. So if you are on an earlier firmware than iOS 10.1.1, just stay where you're at. It's so important that you guys actually stay on a lower firmware at this point because we really just do not know how long this is going to take and chances are good that the gamma version of the jailbreak, hopefully the more stabilized version, will function on 10.1.1 exclusively and will not add 10.2 support. That will likely come later down the line. So your best option as of now is still iOS 10.1.1. Really, this is just great news for those individuals who happen to miss the downgrade window to go back to iOS 10.1.1 and are currently stuck on iOS 10.2 without the future prospect of being able to jailbreak. So if you are on 10.2, then chances are good you will be able to jailbreak at some point with Yalu. We just don't know when right now. Again, guys, this is what you want to do when talking about updating and a new jailbreak. Stay on as low of a firmware as possible. I don't care if there's rumor or official word from that developer. We just don't know their time frame. And again, your best opportunity to jailbreak is, of course, always on a lower firmware. If you want to update to the highest firmware that a jailbreak supports, then you have to do that once that jailbreak is finally out and once it supports that firmware, if you still can. What I mean by that is if iOS 10.2.1 is released by Apple and they stop signing iOS 10.2 and then Luca Tedesco updates Yalu to include support for iOS 10.2, it'll be too late at that point to update, but at least you'll still be able to jailbreak and your highest probability of being able to jailbreak is of course on a lower firmware. You guys do not want to get locked out in case for whatever reason he's not able to make it work on iOS 10.2 then you will still be supported on iOS 10.1.1 so just keep that in mind remember I'm going to let you guys know anytime anything changes or happens in the world of jailbreaking or iOS like I said before click the subscribe button below next to my channel if you have yet to then just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more frequent updates as to why things are disabled on today's video unfortunately I just don't have the time to moderate and respond to all of your comments and questions as much as I would like to. So in light of that fact, they're disabled and they will be for the foreseeable future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found the information and useful. And until next time, this is ACU signing out.